Hello, Reginald Pikedevant here. I've got some new videos in the pipeline, but they're all rather involved, so I thought perhaps, instead of letting this channel go dormant again so soon after finally posting something new, I'd test the waters to see if there was any interest in behind-the-scenes footage in the meantime. If you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, or if you wouldn't, let me know in the comments. So this is a basic run-through of the special effects in my latest video, if you've only got a moustache. If you didn't notice the special effects, you're not alone. My own parents watched it thrice in a row and didn't notice any. But if you pay careful attention, my moustache grows slowly but steadily throughout the video. Unusually for my videos, I shot it as a single long take, so that there would be no question of whether I'd shot a segment, let my moustache grow a bit before shooting the next, etc. As you can see here, I glued some small beads to my face as tracking markers, mostly around the mouth. I then brought the footage into Blender, a rather powerful 3D modeling and animating program that also happens to be free, and tracked all of the beads. I did have to make some manual adjustments, as my moustache tended to obscure those beads closest to it, but all in all it gave me some fairly decent tracking. I then used those tracks to digitally erase the beads. I attached an oval to each of the tracking markers, and used a node-based algorithm to in-paint each of the ovals, pulling the colors from the edge of each oval in towards the center point. Whenever a bead was moving fast enough to produce motion blur that extended outside of the oval, I simply stretched the oval to cover it. You can see it a bit if you really zoom in, but at regular scale it's fairly hard to notice unless you're specifically looking for it. After erasing all of the beads, I used the same tracking markers to establish the positioning of an object which would be used to generate a CG moustache to supplement my own, and deform it along with the movements of my head and mouth. Once that was working to my satisfaction, I added a hair particle system to the moustache generator and groomed it into a handlebar shape. To make the hairs look a bit more natural, I coloured them using a noise texture to give them a variegated appearance, with some hairs lighter and some darker, all in varying shades of brown. I controlled the moustache length using a simple texture attached to the hair particle's length parameter. Towards the beginning of the video, I keyframed the texture to be pure black, and set it to white near the end, and Blender interpolated between the two, the lighter the texture, the longer the moustache. After rendering the animation out, I brought it into DaVinci Resolve for some colour grading to make it look a bit more vibrant, and that about did it. So that was my process, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Again, if you'd like to see more of that sort of thing while I work on new videos, please let me know. Thanks for watching.